Well, after a couple of terrible, grey, rainy days, we had a bit of sun today, and uh, that's showing in my battery voltages. Look here, 3.98, 3.97, all pretty well balanced, and certainly charged. And these batteries have actually had an hour's work this evening, uh, powering some outside lights on the shed. So it seems to be working quite well. well what are we? Day three, day four, something like that. But over those same few days when we've not had a great amount of sun, I've also had some broken sleep. And I've been thinking more and more about these fuses in between the groups of cells. And will they do exactly what I wanted them to do, what I expect them to do? As you can see here, we've got four batteries, just like my groups of cells. They're all connected, common together at the negative, and they're actually all connected, common together at the positive, because of course this is a 4P7S pack. But each individual cell has its own individual fuse here at the top. So let's imagine this cell on the left hand side goes faulty, it goes short circuit, then the other cells have a short circuit as well, so their positive is connected to their negative. So in that case, when these three start to deliver a lot of current through this, uh, this dodgy cell here, hopefully that will fuse the fuse and take this cell out of the circuit and the remaining cells will carry on as normal. So to test this, I've got another four cell holder here with a commoning strip here on the negative side of the circuit. On the positive side of the circuit you may just be able to see the fuses there, one, two, three, four, so they're all going to be individually fused and then common together at the end with yet another bit of nickel strip. I've added an LED here so that we can see that there is power going through this circuit. So let's put some cells in and these are fairly well charged, they're not the best cells of my bunch, 1900 milliamp hours, these came out of a replacement laptop battery and we can see there that the LED has lit, it's quite dim, I've got a reasonably high resistor on there but you'll note there's only three cells in here, I'm going to short here and we'll see what the fuse does and I'm hopefully going to capture that in slow motion. So after a few sparks, the uh, fuse heated up and broke right in the centre and the LED went out. So I'm pretty confident now that my fusing system here is working as it should. So thanks again to everybody who comments on my videos. This has been an interesting experiment for me. I hope it has been for you also. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.